Hi, welcome to the Solar Energy Projects at Hamwood Park. The weather, it's the middle of December, it's absolutely filthy and there's really no sun coming in at all. Conventional solar system is doing absolutely nothing. Uh, the inverter here keeps on starting to want to um, uh, start up and shut down and um, here you can see that uh, um, I've got zero amps coming into a battery there and when I look at these controllers uh, with other um, other uh, solar panels, zero amps there um, um, oh I've got 0.1 of an amp coming in there and on this um, this is a kilowatt of panels, four solar panels, uh, naught coming in there and another kilowatt of thin film panels, nothing there. It really is absolutely foul and it's only two o'clock in the afternoon for goodness sake. I've just received this beast um, which you can see next to the hydro filing cabinet. I'm looking forward to unwrapping this. This is meant to be a 16,000 or 15,000 watt inverter um, which we'll be using on a 40 volt, 48 volt system in due course uh, with some traction batteries and I've just unwrapped this inverter and connected it up uh, to the solar panels although there's no input at the moment. Um, um, I turned it on and had quite a surprise. Welcome to Power Jack Inverter World. Power Jack is introducing the new grid tie inverter that except 28 to 48 BDC in order for the inverter to work correctly the voltage from the solar panel needs to be between 28 to 48 BDC. Oh, I've interrupted her. Let's turn her on again. Welcome to Power Jack Inverter World. Power Jack is introducing the new grid tie inverter that except 28 to 48 BDC in order for the inverter to work correctly the voltage from the solar panel needs to be between 28 to 48 BDC. Low voltage alarm. The inverter is below 28 BDC. Please adjust the DC voltage up at least 28 V. I think she meant she gives instructions as you go. But you Low have... voltage alarm. The inverter is below 28 V DC. Please adjust the DC voltage up at least 28 V. I'm glad I'm not married to her.